Good morning, this is uh, Dan and Sam from uh, Fisher Deep Adventures. Uh, we just woke up to our first morning on uh, the Daniel Boone Backcountry Byway and Kentucky Adventure Trail. Uh, we slept right off the trail last night and uh, had a nice good night's sleep. It's um, down in the upper 30s, low 40s this morning. Um, we've been listening to birds all night and the stream, of course, right next door has been uh, great to sleep by. So. We're getting ready to get packed up here and uh, hit the trail in a minute. So today, or yesterday, we went um, from Spas Creek to Pumpkin Road, two very difficult trails. Um, uh, see the link in the description below for the video from yesterday. Um, super challenging and not impassable, of course, because we obviously made it through, but uh, just something to be mindful of. It's really narrow and it, the trail is rutted up really bad and you're definitely going to need a high clearance vehicle with off-road tires uh, to make it up through there. But fun nonetheless. Uh, today we're going to head back out on the <coughs> trail and uh, kind of see what we come up with. So we'll go as far as we, we can get today tonight and then we'll probably stop a little bit earlier uh, for camp so we have uh, some time uh, to get things done so um, if this is something you're interested in uh, please stick around for the video it's going to be a good one all right we left camp uh, just a little bit ago and it appears that uh, they're building like cabins or something uh, back here down a section of the road where they built cabins they got power out here Pretty cool. Look. Okay, so uh, we come through some neighborhood area, and that was the end of uh, Pumpkin Hollow uh, Road. So, all right, we took a. Um, I guess about 14 miles on pavement and uh, we probably should have aired up um, from where we were last time but we've come down this offshoot um, off of the, the GPX file it just had like a green trail um, and it started off as a one lane road and uh, turned into a, a very unmaintained road um, so it looks like it's just lots of rutted out areas. Uh, so we'll see what it's like. So we're about halfway down it now. There's a nice uh, campsite over to the right. This would be a pretty cool place to stay. You know, you just gotta be careful of the storms, but it looks like it probably floods up quick. things about uh, just this little offshoot right here is you know just how close we come to the creek and just the trail following power line otherwise if it hadn't been marked on the map as a trail to go down I would have never uh, come this way
came up off of that uh, little side road. I don't, I don't know what it's called, but um, it uh, again was certainly challenging. I think uh, some of those mud pits were um, a little more than what I had expected them to be. And for sure, climbing up uh, some of those rocky paths was uh, difficult. Um, one thing to note toward the end of that, they're doing some logging uh, on that part of the trail and um, they've got a whole section of it closed. They weren't logging today and I kind of slid through there, but they have it posted and gated. And hopefully, thankfully for me, the gate was open um, and I made it through. So we just came back out and I guess we're right at Hollerwood uh, Off-Road Park. Uh, we did not go into that, but that's where that trail kind of dumps you out is. So if you have a reference for the area, um, Hollerwood Off-Road Park. So we're going to continue down our path and uh, see where we go. All right, you come through uh, Hollerwood uh, Park in that area that's a huge like commercial side-by-side uh, -side, uh, probably off-road buggy style um, kind of deal and uh, you run from there and you turn uh, right on a gravel road and uh, we're, we're back on uh, the adventure trail the cool thing is is we're already starting to see uh, oil wells There are these little oil wells um, all over the place. None of them appear to be running, but they're all here. came through a place called uh, Bald Rock Campground and it looks to be right in the area of their Pendergrass Recreation Preserve and uh, there's a huge parking lot there uh, where it looks like there's a bunch we just saw five or six hikers uh, that were leaving up headed up into the mountains so it looks like there's a bunch of uh, uh, hiking areas to uh, go up into so if it, you're interested in something like that um, It looks like there's plenty of trails out here. The parking lot's got about 20 cars in it so um, That means that the trail coming in is nice and smooth All right, once we uh, left the um, That recreation area um, It's about a 12 minute uh, pavement ride uh, through a little small town and uh, now we're back on gravel again so all 
right, you come down by the river and then this takes you to a tunnel that comes right underneath the um, railroad. track where we needed to be and uh, so we're headed into the turkey foot recreation area so that one section of uh, trail that was cut off by the logging uh, operation was about 50 miles of pavement that we had to follow uh, to get around to get back where we are so we lost a couple hours and uh, if you're gonna follow that path across the Kentucky River uh, there's a couple alternate trails um, that I would take. It, you know, they're all on Gaia. Um, so when that, uh, the GPX file is gonna take you down the gravel road where they're doing logging. If you find yourself there, uh, go the other way. All right, we came uh, off the gravel road through a bunch of uh, cutover property and uh, now we're back uh, into the woods, so. marker the battle of wildcat between um, uh, the Union and the Confederate Army uh, the Union Army ended up holding uh, their position uh, based off of the train and everything else but cool little uh, historical marker if you uh, get this way and um, all right so this is the uh, uh, Robinson Spring Trail And we'll see where this goes. This is uh, an old 1800s um, cemetery along Robinson Creek Trail. It's a community cemetery for uh, the people of Rock Castle River, um, a community outside of Livingston. Robinson Creek Road dead ends um, at the river so I'm not sure if when the water is low you can cross this but I mean you can clearly see where people cross and the track brings you across You can see where there's an entrance, but this is uh, a 
This is what you're supposed to cross. The water is moving uh, right here. So I don't mind little streams, but this is uh, maybe there's a path, but we're not even attempting it. I don't know. Uh, I don't know where we're supposed to cross. So I don't know if you go from here and you go into that tunnel or if you cross over onto the bank on the road, but looks like we're turning around. All right, we kind of uh, dropped in on some groomed uh, gravel roads and uh, got a stream crossing up ahead, I believe. to the natural arches uh pretty cool uh geological formation here so um probably the highlight of the day given all the stuff that we've had to do in the backtracking and everything else so uh, i'll uh spin it around and kind of walk with you all right so that's pretty cool one makes like a bridge across pretty neat stuff it's amazing what you can find when you get off the beaten path back to another stream crossing Uh, it's been a, a long day. Uh, we made it from um, Pumpkin Hollow Trail all the way to uh, Laurel River Lake, uh, which is where we're camping at right now. Uh, there's very few dispersed campsites in the uh, Danny Boone National Forest, at least where we're at. And it's been a kind of challenging day of getting through the um, trail closures and some other things to to get to where we are today i think we put about 170 miles down today as we headed south and west <clears throat> um saw the arches uh did a whole lot of creek crossings and um 
whole lot of backcountry driving. So uh, we're both tired. And so we ended up um, at the Grove uh, campground. And uh, that's going to be it for the night. So hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Uh, stay tuned for tomorrow uh, or next the next video, which will uh, run our leg uh, uh, down to South Fork. This is Dan uh, and Sam from Fisher Deep Adventures. Uh, we'll see you on the trail.